Hello everyone, I am Cosmic Dreamer. Today I will tell you about one of the most famous criminal cases in Japanese history. This is the largest perfect crime in Japanese history. In terms of price standards at the time, 300 million yen at that time was equivalent to 1 billion today. 1 billion. If based on the salary standards at that time, it would be equivalent to about 2 billion today. This incident happened in 1968, 56 years ago. In December 1968, the president of a branch of Nippon Trust Bank received a threatening letter. This letter says that tomorrow, I want your female bank clerk to go to the place I designate with 3 million yen. If you don't go, I will blow up your house. The president immediately called the police, who immediately deployed 50 police officers to ambush around the location he designated. By 5 p.m. the next day, the suspect had not appeared. The police withdrew. Why did the police just leave like that? It's because several banks around this area have already received this threatening letter. I received it almost 10 times this year, but none of them came true. So the police slacked off a little bit. As a result, four days later, a cash transport truck drove out from this branch of Nippon Trust Bank. The car contained three safes, each containing 100 million yen, for a total of 300 million yen. I went to this Toshiba factory to give bonuses to the workers. At that time, when bonuses were given out in Japan, they were all given in gold. If it weren't for this 300 million yen incident, Japan might still be discovering gold. Why? It's because Japan is a patriarchal society. In the past, when a man would go home with his salary and slap the pile of money on the table, his wife and children would be very happy. This dad has come back with money, and our family can live again. So this is how this man's status came about. This is the same as in ancient times. In ancient times, it was a man in the family who went out hunting. Come back with the prey at night and throw it on the ground, and the family will be very happy. Later, they said that because they all use this bank to transfer money, this man's status became lower and lower. After I started transferring money, my wife and children no longer felt this visual impact. I didn't feel that my father earned this money. It felt like it was issued by the bank. When it comes to salary day, there will definitely be a lot of cash circulating. According to the memories of the person involved, the person who drove the armored truck recalled, halfway down the road, he suddenly realized that there was a police car chasing him behind him. It was a motorcycle, and then he stopped. He rolled down the window and asked, What's wrong, Mr. Police? The policeman said, We just received a tip that your president's home was bombed. There is also a bomb in your armored transport truck, a time bomb. Come down quickly. I have to investigate. Because these people are from this bank, they all know what happened four days ago. So, they all cooperated quickly and got down, and they got down and hid far away. He asked you to go further away, and then he got under the car. Pull out a chimney that was prepared in advance. Bang. It was like something like a firework. When it started to smoke, he shouted that it was about to explode and run. Then the escorts ran as fast as they could and ran to a very far away place. After looking there, the man immediately got on the cash transport truck. Then the cash transport truck drove away. According to witnesses at the time, the only thing they felt at the time was this. 
The police are so brave. After a while, they realized something was wrong. First of all, the smoking area was still smoking, but the car was driven away. Another thing is to look at the motorcycle. At that time, I noticed that it was just a white motorcycle, so I thought it was a police car. It looks wrong if you look closely, because the police cars are all Honda motorcycles, and the motorcycle he parked didn't look like a Honda. I contacted the bank immediately after reacting, and the bank said they had never heard of it. Oops. Call the police immediately. After the police received the call, the entire Tokyo was locked down within 20 minutes. Just capture this cash transport truck, and it will last for 50 years. The arrest started 20 minutes after the incident, and the arrest was started when the whole city was locked down. It took 50 years for the arrest to be made. That day is the day when Japan cracks down hard. At the end of every year, Tokyo, Japan, is already cracking down. Therefore, there are police checkpoints at every intersection, and important intersections. The police were relatively optimistic at that time because they were cracking down hard that day and there were police at every intersection. So they feel that no matter where you run, you can't escape. As a result, the cash transport truck was not found at any intersection. Then the police force was withdrawn the next day and began to focus on investigating the area near the crime scene. This case has a total of four scenes. Later investigation revealed that the motorcycle was stolen. It was originally blue, but he painted it white. The hat originally had the suspect's sweat stains on it, but unfortunately, the police investigating the scene had tried on the hat. Several people tried it on, so it was impossible to tell which sweat stains on it belonged to the prisoners and which belonged to the police. As a result, this very important piece of evidence was useless. They also stole the speaker and later found a small 4 mm newspaper fragment left on the speaker. Take this piece of newspaper and analyze it. I found a word printed on the lower right corner of this piece of newspaper. What word was it? In the lower right corner of the product label is a Japanese newspaper from the Sankei Shimbun at the time. It took me two years to find out which company sold this newspaper. As a result, the newspaper seller no longer had sales records for the past two years so the two-year investigation was in vain. I just said that 300 million yen was stolen in this case, but the police spent a total of 1 billion investigating this case. The discovery was that the barrel was homemade by him, and it was wrapped with a magazine on the outside. Then the second crime scene is near the first crime scene. In the grove, the police found the cash transport truck. It was at this point that the police realized that the prisoner had changed cars. Before, they locked down the whole city and were looking for this cash transport truck. They thought the prisoner was driving around in a cash transport truck so they must be looking for the cash transport truck at every intersection. Unexpectedly, the prisoner changed a car and ran away not long after driving to the woods. The police suspected that an important reason why he did not change his car was because he thought 300 million yen 
was a bit too much. These are three safes, so it's not that easy to change the car. The safe is very heavy. At 300 million yen, it weighs about 30 kilograms. So what kind of car did he change into and run away with? According to witnesses, a blue Corolla was parked in the grove two days before the incident. A green Corolla was found in a vacant lot at a nearby high school. The dark blue Corolla was found in the parking lot of a nearby community. This dark blue Corolla actually has a safe inside. So the sequence should be like this. They drove the cash transport truck to the Grove, changed into a blue Corolla, drove to the parking lot of this community, and then changed into a green Corolla and drove out. When they stopped near the high school, I don't know how they ran away. Three cars and a motorcycle were also found in the same parking lot, all stolen. In fact, stolen vehicles are covered with cloth, but the cloth needs to be tied with a knot. The knotting methods were different, so the police tentatively concluded that this was a gang crime. The most amazing thing is that they found a woman's earring inside a stolen vehicle. So they suspected that there was a woman in the gang. A total of more than 120 pieces of evidence were left at the four crime scenes. So the police were very optimistic at the time. The threatening letter had a stamp on it and the stamp was stuck on with saliva. They analyzed the saliva and found that the person with the stamp had type B blood. Half of this threatening letter was handwritten, and the other half was made up of words cut out from the magazine, deducted, and then spelled out. This cutout magazine is also consistent with the magazine found in the chimney package found at the crime scene. However, a total of two magazines were used. One is called Radio Wave Science, and the other is Modern Cinema. These two magazines confuse the police again. The content of Radio Science is TV assembly and electrical appliance modification, which is very professional. Modern movies mainly contain literary and artistic content and belong to literary and youth magazines. It is difficult to find them for those who like to read these two magazines at the same time. The words on the threatening letter were cut out from a wiring diagram. The wiring diagram is the most important part of assembling a TV so it is judged that the criminal does not like electronic technology. Finally, it was concluded that the prisoner deliberately bought two unrelated magazines in order to disrupt the search. Because they were cut and pasted, the words used were different from those used by ordinary people. We've all seen the suspect, so it's strange that he hasn't been caught yet. The police later found four witnesses who had seen the suspect. According to their brief description, plus a guess from the police, because committing a crime like this is so smooth and involves changing cars and so on. It must have something to do with the local Bosozoku. S has several points that fit this prisoner very well. First of all, S is very good at driving and riding a motorcycle. Secondly, S's father is a policeman, and his father rides a white motorcycle. So he was very familiar with what a white motorcycle looked like and what was on it. And this S is a local, so he is very familiar with the local situation. Later, the police investigated 
the day when the threatening letter was sent. But S was in the juvenile detention center that day. He's at the police station, so he can't be the one with the threatening letter. As a result, S committed suicide by taking poison on the fifth day after the incident. After S died, the police called the four people in the armored truck who had seen the fake police officers at the scene to attend his funeral. Go see if it's him at this funeral. After going there, these four people looked at this S and said it looked a bit like it. It was at this time that the police discovered that the woman they had always suspected was actually a man. Because S is gay and his female friend is a boy, K also wore earrings. So the police suddenly realized that the earrings in the car were not female, but male. Later, the police checked his blood type and found that he had type B blood. The police also have no direct evidence to prove that K has anything to do with this case. Therefore, he could not be arrested. As a result, K went abroad a year later. After I went abroad, I opened a gay bar and a shopping mall. A few years later, I returned to Japan and bought several luxury homes. Then the police focused on this person again and asked him. Kay said that I found a godfather outside and was already rich. However, after investigation, the police also ruled out Kay as a suspect. There are a total of 110,000 suspects in this case. 110,000. He is the one who most matches all the characteristics. He also looks similar, has type B blood type, and is a driver. And the way he speaks is the same as the tone of his writing. The police were afraid that he would run away and immediately arrested him and held a press conference. But in the end, he was released the next day, without any evidence. V was devastated. Not only did he lose his job, he was also discriminated against and kept changing jobs. In September 2008, he committed suicide. As a result, this person became the biggest victim of this case. Since the police did not dare to easily suspect anyone after this incident, the investigation was not that easy. There was no DNA at that time. If there was DNA, maybe a DNA test would match it. Then, after this matter was completely over, a group of people popped up, claiming that I was the one who robbed the money in the first place. However, it was later proven to be false during police investigation because at that time, in addition to money and bonus envelopes, there were other things placed in these three safes. Only the criminal suspect knew about this thing, and the other one was when he lit the smoke barrel to smoke, because the smoke barrel failed to light up due to malfunction. He used a very special method to light it. Later, when the police were investigating the method used to light the smoke barrel, they asked these people, but they couldn't answer. Later, this incident was also made into movies, TV series, and novels. There were no casualties in this incident. Although one person committed suicide due to a misinvestigation by the police, there were no direct casualties as a result of the case. Therefore, the common people have no hatred towards this case. On the surface, the bank lost 300 million yen, but in fact, the bank did not lose money. The Japanese insurance company compensated the bank, so the bank did not lose money. Factory workers also received their year-end bonuses the day after the crime occurred. The prisoner has not been captured so far, and the statute of limitations for civil actions has exceeded 20 years.
it became an unsolved case in Japanese criminal history. Okay, that's all the content of this video. Thank you for your attention. See you next time.